Uh, my colleague Stacey Bivens joins me here in studio to explore this further. Stacey, where is the medal for Dr. Li Wengliang? Exactly. No medal, no mention of the doctor's name. Now, he was an ophthalmologist based in the city of Wuhan, which we know was the epicenter of an outbreak that became a pandemic. And he was the very first to sound the alarm about a new SARS-like virus. And he wrote a letter to other medical professionals of his suspicions. Um, and this immediately got the attention of Chinese authorities who rushed to silence him. And they were investigating him for spreading rumors, and they threatened to arrest him if he did not stop talking about this. And on top of all of that, the doctor caught what we now know is the coronavirus. He died in early February at just 33 years old. He had a wife, a child, and another on the way. And so his death sparked an international outpouring of grief and rekindled anger because of the way he was treated. Now, China, on its part, had exonerated the doctor and said what it said was a solemn ap apology to the family. But at that ceremony, no mention of the doctor or the contributions he made. And you talk about the outpouring of grief when Dr. Lee died, but what about um, the, the response to this perceived slight of his not being mentioned in this ceremony? In a word, outrage. People have been outraged and they've taken to social media with their anger. Um, and we, got a, we have a selection of comments that were posted on on Chinese social media. And the common thread was that this man was a hero and he should have been treated as such and recognized at the ceremony. Um, and one of the quotes we pulled um, says that history will remember who the hero is. And people also took to Twitter. One person wrote, thousands of lives would have been saved if the Chinese government had listened to Lee. And a critical do uh, care doctor posted photos in remembrance of not just Dr. Lee, but of other medical professionals who gave their lives trying to protect the rest of us uh, from the virus. She wrote, China first covered up, then let us think PPE, the personal protective equipment, was less essential. Her treat also reminded us that Dr. Lee's baby boy was born just four months after he died. Okay, what about this honors ceremony? Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so Beijing has faced backlash from what people have called um, secretive and slow reaction uh, to this virus. And one of the loudest people in the international community to talk about China and its response is U.S. President Donald Trump, who's under fire for his own handling of the virus. But he says that China should somehow be forced to pay for um, the spread of the virus. And at the ceremony, President Xi Jinping pushed back and he said that uh, China acted in a transparent manner and that it saved the lives of, quote, tens of millions of people. And it also showed its desire to build a, a common community for humanity. So very differing views about the way China has responded to the virus. Okay, Stacey Bivens, thank you for that. You're welcome to me.